phones would go. Let's go to Ross. Hey, Ross. Hey there. Hey. How you doing, Dave? Pretty good, Ross. I'm okay myself. Great. Listen, uh, you're being a little uh, hard on our heavier set listeners this evening. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, 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 no. What's wrong with that if I was? So well, what? Well, it's a... So what? Uh, somebody should. Well, uh, you know, well, uh, no, I mean, uh, uh, if you were to lose 30 pounds, you'd say thank you, Dave, for pointing it out to me. And I guarantee if it was a member of my family, I'd sure point it out to him. Well, all right. I understand that you just have their best intentions in mind. But let me let me tell you something here. Uh, I've been going out with this same girl for about three years now. Right. And she's got a big butt. Right. She's got a big butt. Right. But she's got a face to die for. Right. And so I'm going to... Do you ever tell her you have a big butt? Well, you know, it's it's it used to be a big issue. It is a big issue. Well, <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, you know, I just decided that you know I need to. How old is she? She's uh, we're both twenty four. Right. When she's thirty four, she can be twice as big. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you can't control it at twenty four, you're doomed. Oh man, come on, you don't know her. No, I, no, it's true. It's true. If you can't, if you don't have any willpower. At 24, at 34, you you're you think all of a sudden you're going to also possess willpower? It's not going to exist. No, but it's not a question. Of what, wait a minute now. Mm -hmm. now, now. You're just, you're just, you're concluding, you're assuming that all overweight people are unhappy. No, all in, all overweight people are, are uh, just, I guess, basically lazy. They're lazy. Lazy. Okay, well, I'm as skinny lazy. as a rod, but and, I'm lazy, and, and, too. And, and they do not think about tomorrow. <laughs> think about tomorrow. No, they don't think about tomorrow. The, you know, you have to look towards the future and, and think, well, this is a body and it won't hold up. A hold heart, up? A heart can only put up with so much. Well, I understand that. You want to live forever? I mean... No, but I'd, I'd like to live in my 80s or 90s, wouldn't you? <laughs> and with a big... Yeah, well, you know, I still... It's their business. It's, you know, Dave, I mean, you, you're big on that. You know, mind your own business. Don't mess around with other people's You're business. right, you're right. Unless you were in my unless you were you were in my inner circle, let's say, uh, you know, family or somebody I'm acquaint uh, an acquaintance of. And I guarantee you, if you were in the if, if I knew you in this building, you were overweight, you had a problem, I'd point it wouldn't bother me unless I couldn't stand you, then I wouldn't point it out to you. But uh, you know, I'd point it out to you. Yeah, Man. but Dave, it doesn't oh, affect I, our I mean, love how, life. You know, it doesn't affect it doesn't affect anything about our relationship. It really doesn't. You know, she's not her butt. She is not her butt. You know what I'm... <laughs> no, no, but just, uh, I, I just don't know, why. it's not that difficult to get rid of, is it? Well, you know, it's just, it's not a big issue. It's not a big issue amongst us. And well, I think it's, you're make, I it's think a big enough really... issue that, that you noticed it. Well, you, no, I mean, of course, it, you know, it's, I'm... You're aware of it? Sure, I'm aware of it. Mm hmm But she, she knows I'm skinny as a rod, too. You are? Yeah. I, I'm 6'2", and I'm like 150-something pounds. Uh-huh. You're, and, uh, you're a ray, all right. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for the call. I'll see you. See you later, man. Let's go to uh, Lumpy. Hey, Lumpy. Hey. Hey. Um, I have two things to say to you, man. Go ahead. Okay, the first one is, um, I'm a DJ at a college radio, and I'm going to miss you a lot because I'm transferring to a college out in Montana. Oh, man, you'll still be able to pick. Well, no, you won't be able to pick us up out there, but yeah. Okay, good. Okay, and the second one is, hey, I weigh 375 pounds, and most of the girls I know think my damn gut's pretty damn sexy. Mm-mm. Uh, uh, 375 pounds? Yeah. Wow. Why? Why? Why not? What do you mean, why not? Why not, man? Why not? That's a stupid answer, man. Stupid. Oh, well, you're a stupid guy. No, well, just I'm not 375 pounds either. <laughs> Thanks for the call. Limited, limited. Yeah, right. There'll be more to eat for the rest of us when you're gone. Eight seven two zero seven fifty is my number. Let's go next to, uh, how about uh, Mary? Hey, Mary. Hi. Hello. Well, have you ever noticed when you're riding down the highway or streets and you see people eating in their cars? Yeah. They're always overweight. <laughs> no. Nine times out of ten. No, I just, no, I'm not, this is not, I'm just... I don't know. I, what, I wouldn't even go into this overweight. I don't even how this thing, whatever. I, I was talking about this. There's two specific things. Girls get big butts, yeah. and, and guys get big beer guts. Yeah. And both of them are disgusting, aren't they? I think big beer guts are very disgusting. Oh, I mean, you, you see guys all the time. The rest of their body's fine. But right there in front of them, they got this big gut. Yeah. And I would think, man, just come on. Don't, don't, come on. I mean, why would you want this big gut? Well, yeah, it just makes you tired to carry it around. I would think. I want to 
suggest something for you to do. What's that? You're bored with Atlanta. I'm not bored with it. There's nothing to do in Atlanta. Well, there's you... nothing. There's nothing to be bored with at night. There is no nightlife in Atlanta. Oh, you want nightlife? Well, that's what I'm talking about. Not well. I mean, there's nothing to recreation wise. There's not much to do either, other than like say, go out and sit in the woods someplace or something. Go to a college game. A college game? Yeah. Well, there's plenty of sports to do, I guess, in Atlanta. If you like to see, if you like to see your team get, you know, the hell beat out of well, them. I'm not participating. Participating? No. Yeah, play tennis. I, that's not my thing, man. What is? Well, I, I don't believe in exercise. You don't? No, I don't believe in exercise at all. Uh, well, go over to East Point to the uh, Federal Archives and look up the family history. I would like to do that. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful place. It really how, is. how hard is that to do? It's not hard at all. I mean, how? Um, what do they have? The, what do they have to offer there? Uh, they have all of the censuses that have ever been released. You're kidding. No. So, so how do you do it? I mean, how, do, I don't even know how to do it. Well, you go in, uh -huh. and they have volunteer-type helpers there mm -hmm. that will show you how to use the uh, sound deck system, and then some of it is on film, and uh, it would help if you knew the state and the county. What if you don't? Well, you would know the state and county where your parents came from. Right. And then perhaps their parents. Right. All right. You could go back to, say, pick a year that the census was taken that mm -hmm. you knew that your grandparents lived in whatever state that they came from. Sure. And then when you... You can just work your way back. How far back does these records go? Um... Uh, Oh, golly, you know, you've got me there. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how far back have you traced your family? Well, my husband's working on his, and he's back into the 1700s over in Germany now. Is that right? Yeah, mine goes on my side. Well, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I just, I'm just afraid that if I were to do mine, I'd find a bunch of horse thieves and, you know what I mean, really just the town drunks and stuff. I really am. You know, yeah. I, come, I come from a weird family. Well, I mean, everybody's probably got a skeleton in their closet. Well, 100%, 100%. <laughs> All right, see you later, man. All right. Bye. Yeah, it'd be real depressing. I'm sure it would be real depressing. 872 07 Let's talk next to Brenda. Hey, Brenda. Hello. Hello. Uh, I, don't be, uh, I don't mean to change your subject, but I want to ask you how you feel about something. Um, I heard that 97% of the men masturbate in the bathtub. Do you think that's true? Do I? Yes. Well, I personally don't. I, I don't know if it's true or not. Well, they say the other 3% sings. The, the other 3% what? Sings in the bathtub. <laughs> Do you know what they sing? No. I didn't figure you would. <laughs> anyway. Okay, thanks. Yeah, Brenda, right. Did you get it? Yes, Brenda. Well, my get son my has nerves. got me, so I listen to you every night. Oh, thank you so much. And you just crack me up. Thanks. Uh, um, I've, I've been trying to get through to you for about two months, though. So. You're through. Yes. Well, here you are. Now you're through. Now, now what do you want? I uh, just want uh, to talk to you, damn it. Oh, okay. Well, here you are. What, what would you like to talk about? Anything personal? Can I help you out with personal I don't personal care. Problems? I just want to tell you that little joke so I'd get you once instead of you getting somebody else. Well, yeah, it was funny. It was funny. I really appreciate it. That's what I need. Some well, good, some good, some good... But I want to tell you something. Yes. Whenever you come on there and you talk about you and your wife's personal life, you should keep that at home instead of telling everybody on the air. Why? Well, just because... Well, you know, when I first started this job, I would not have. I really would not have. But then eventually you come... This is not a big deal to me anymore. When you come in here now and you turn on the microphone, and you just think, oh, big deal. You know, and, and if you're not intimidated by it, you really don't care. You know, it's like, it's like you do. You go to somebody's house, you talk. That's the way I feel in here right now. I'm, I'm real... It's, it's, I'm very at ease, and I can tell you anything about my life at all. This put that on the air. Brent, I can't put that... I had to dump that, man. I can't put that on the air. Well, I'm sorry. It's all right. Thanks for the call. Bye. Bye. Golly, man. Watch your language, people. <sighs> Unbelievable. The element. The element I have to deal with on this show. I guess you have to expect that at 1.35 in the morning. <sighs> Back to the phones we go. And let's go next to... How about... Uh, James. Hey, James. Need to wash her mouth out. Now, wasn't she horrible? Wasn't she horrible? Oh, man. Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So yeah. what's going on? Oh, uh, nothing much. Uh, I'm calling in defense of Atlanta, I guess. Uh, you said there's not much to do at night, or you're looking for something to do? No, there is nothing to do. Well, I can't do anything anyway. I what? work I work here, but, you know. Right. But what is there to do? What is there to do on a Friday night other than go to the movies or something? What is there to do? Well, I'll tell you something. Uh, 
Atlanta has the best uh, network of comedy clubs in the South. That's true. That's true. That's true. Uh, they, they have a lot of entertaining guys. Right, that's true. Uh, a lot of fun places. Of course, they're not all in downtown Atlanta. I mean, they're on the perimeter. Right, I know. Downtown Atlanta, there's not much going on anyway. That, that's true. They're, they're, they're dead at night. Yeah. And if you go downtown, you will be dead. Right. I'll tell you also that if you go down to uh, Underground at, let's say, uh, Saturday night, about 11.30. Boring, yeah. No, no. Well, it's boring during the day and, you know, until maybe like 11. But then that's when all the, the stores close down, all right? Yeah, unless... A lot they... of women down there at 11.30. What kind of women go to Not, the, What kind of women go, go to the underground at 11:30 at night? Well, all types. Well, I'm, I'm not into diseases a whole lot. You know oh, what I mean? No. Come on. Yeah, that, that's not my pastime. No, let's, let's, go, to, let's, go down, let's go down there and see how many transmittable diseases I can catch. Oh, no, that, no, that, that's not my on. style. No, wrong. Yeah. Sorry, man. Wrong. Sorry. That's no, no. Maybe, maybe that's your style, but that ain't my style. You don't like that? You don't like being a woman? I'm married man. No, I don't like women. Gotta go, man. Nice talking to you. Let's go to Michael. Hey, Michael. Hello, what's up? You're up, Michael. First you. First time caller. You what? First time caller. Hey, great, Michael. Glad to have you. Yeah, I'd like to tell you, um, what are the people going to do when they come in for the Olympics? What are they going to do? Yeah. What are they going to do? Oh, they aren't going to do anything. There's nothing to do. They're going to be here for like two or three days. They're going to be ready to go home. I think they'll be hiding in their hotel rooms and stuff. <laughs> Now, they were probably hoping, well, I wish Orlando would get it or something like that, where they can go to Disney World, you know? I, yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. What are they going to do? Who knows? Yeah. I don't know. What am I going to do? I'm going to avoid downtown, aren't you? Yeah. I'm going to hide out. No, I mean, really, when they come here, I'll take a few days off. Well, I won't be here, probably, but, you know, take a few days off and just hide. I mean, who'd want to drive through this mess, what, through this mess right? No, that's right. That is right. Yeah. That's why I said it, man. That's why I said it. What about you? Uh, go down to High Price Underground and spend all your money. Oh, it is high price, isn't it? Yeah. No, I went down there. Some restaurant charged me an arm and leg. No, that's right. No, I mean, just it's too. No, wait. No, I'm not. I'm not. That's too. In, I, I, I live in the suburbs, you know. Where do you live? I stay in College Park. College Park? Yeah. So you go to Underground? underground? Not really. Mm hmm. No. Nah. Well, what is there to do in downtown Atlanta? What is there to do? Nothing. Absolutely. But look at buildings. Look at buildings. That's it. <laughs> Let's go look at buildings. You're abs that is what there's to do, right? That's it. I agree with you. That is what you do in downtown Atlanta. You look at buildings. That's pathetic. We're the biggest city in the southeast. There should be something to do. Look at buildings and watch planes take off. That's the only thing to do here. That's terrible, man. That's, ter that's, yeah. Boer that's Boersville. Yeah. Boring people, right? That's right. It doesn't take much to entertain us. Nope. Thanks for the call, Michael. All right. See you, man. <sighs> I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. So one of my relatives will come up someday, have to show them around. There won't be anything to show them. I am really, I'm humiliated. I want some entertainment, people. I want to be entertained. I'm David Paul. You're listening to AM 750 WSB. If you thought ballet was all... Good morning, Dave. Good morning, Tina. How are you doing? Pretty good. Haven't heard from you in a while. Oh, well, I've been busy working, uh, Christmas well, shopping. You well, know, well, uh, what, a, what, a, what a lot of fun that is. Oh, it is fun. Uh, right. You're a Scrooge. No, I'm not a Scrooge. Yes, you are. Can't wait till December 26th. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm very concerned. I have a question for you. Oh, what is it? And since you're, you know, you're just wise and you speak for all the men that call you. Yes, I do. Yeah, okay, well, I have a question. Sure. I was watching the Open Winfrey show yesterday. Yeah. It was yesterday, it was the day before. Right. Okay, and it was about men sounding off about women. Right. And there was this guy on there. And, I mean, he was just really arrogant. And he told Oprah Winfrey, he said, because he said, you know, he, he dictates in his house, you know. And, um, and and then Oprah asked him if his wife worked. Right. And, um, and he said, yeah, she works. Like that. And uh, she goes, well, since so she works, I feel like, since so she puts in 50% of everything, does she deserve 50% of the decision? He said, no. Since I'm the man, it's my household. He goes, if I allow her to make decisions, I let her sometimes make about 25% of the unimportant decisions, but any important decision I make, because it's my home, mm -hmm. okay? And um, like half the audience agreed with him, half the audience didn't. And uh, do you believe that he who has the money has the power? No, I believe, I believe, I believe who, he who takes the power has the power. 
Oh, it, really? It, who so, takes control? But uh, let me be blunt as I can be. There are a lot, a lot of people out there in marriages, and, and I think most of them are women, who don't know anything about how the household is run. They don't know where the money is spent. They don't know what bills are paid. They don't know anything at all. And if that is true in your household, they have no business making a decision at all. They should just shut up. And look, oh, so shut like, up, shut up, and look pretty, more or less. No, 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 no. Men, men play on women's vulnerability. Mm -hmm. They do. And women, if they don't work and they stay at home, you know, they have a lot to do. They raise children and. No, and, no, they don't. They have very little to do. No, they have a lot to do. It no, that, that, that's simple. It is one of the simplest jobs. Being a housewife, there's nothing to it at all. It's basic. Oh, oh, Any, anybody could do it. it. It takes no intellect at all. It's a very lazy job. No. I've done it. I've You're, done it. You have a lazy job. No, but I've done it. I was I was a house husband, and, and I took care. It's nothing. I'll be the first to admit it. It is a simple, simple job. Oh, really? Anybody could so, do it. So your wife, basically, since you were you were sitting at home on your rump, your wife basically have has the power. No, none at all. I mean, I, I took. I, well, she's I, making I, all the money. I, well, she made the money, but I mean, I I'm pretty much I'm the one. She gave me her paycheck, and I spent all the money. I I paid the bills. I made. I mean, if it came to a big big decision like buying a car or so something. So what are you like saying? That, like women are like weak and can't make decent decisions. Most of them, yes. That's that's true. Yes, it is well, true. Well, I take care of the bills in my household. Well, maybe you're the maybe you're the butch type. I don't know. <laughs> that's. Not, I am not a butch. Uh, well. It's just my husband works real long hours. Mm -hmm. And um, I it just I think that's a really really barbaric way of thinking. Barbaric way of thinking. Yes. Who that, that women are. You're are, a bl you're a blonde, aren't you? No, you're I not, have red hair. I'm you have red, red hair. hair. Huh? Well, well, nothing personal, but who cares what you think? I care what I think. Yeah, well, I, 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 think, like I, think you, I think it matters what the guys think. It's men like you that give men a bad name. I don't give men a bad name. Yes, you do. I say it the way it is. I'm an honest talk show host. Oh, really? Yeah, your opinion is, is valueless. Who cares what you think? I care, and I now, think now, a lot of women the, now, care what I think I'll ask about the, I'll, ask, I'll, ask, I'll ask the guys what they think, but, but who gives... Who cares what you think? It's, it's unimportant. You know what, Dave? It's trivial trite. Oh, really? Yes. You know what, Dave? No, what? Who cares what you think? You, you do. You? you do. You called me. No, you, you I care. called you because you I wanted to You care what I opinion. think. That is why you called me. I didn't call you. You I called, called me. you to get your opinion. No. And you think just like any other man. You're sick. I, you no. have no mind. You you are puny. You are just, you're barbaric. You're a Neanderthal. And your way of thinking really sucks. And I'm very disappointed. Why? Because Bye. I, bye. <sighs> right. Okay. Back to the phones. Let's go to Leroy. Hey, Leroy. Dave. Leroy. I'm happy tonight. Hey, what, what's going on, Leroy? Not much, Dave. Oh, she used to just shut up and cook her man a sandwich or I'm something. I'm telling you, know? you she... go, in, go in there and clean house. You know, mop a floor and just shut up, you yeah, know? Yeah, take care of the house, Tina. All right. I mean, get off your butt and do something. I mean, really. Ah, oh, give me a break, you know? Uh, sound like Tina's got a big old booty anyway. Right. What's going on? Not uh, much, Dave. Big butt, beer guts, overweight people. Dave, come on. They have to accept their stuff for what they are. Hey, I'm not talking overweight. I have not. People drag me into that. I was talking about when you know somebody and they have a big butt or they get a beer gut, you should make fun of it to encourage them to lose it. I think it's your responsibility. Yeah, but they, but then they, then they would take the attitude that don't worry about what anybody else says about them because it doesn't matter. They're the one that's going to have to live with it. Now, look, if somebody walked up to me in the hallway and says, Dave, what do you think about this Saudi Arabia thing? And I said, Saudi Arabia thing? What, what are you talking about? And they said, Dave, you're, a, you're an idiot. You're a moron. That right there, by them calling me an idiot and moron, would encourage me to go read about this Saudi Arabia thing, right? So they have helped me. They have helped me. I am more or less doing the same thing when I say, boy, that's the biggest butt I've ever seen. Or, man, are you pregnant, John? Are you pregnant? You know, I, I'm helping them. Not necessarily, Dave, because there's a lot of people in the world that don't care what other people say about them or... or then, 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 then who have I harmed by saying, boy, that's a big butt, or boy, that's a big gut? Who have I harmed, then, if they don't care? No one. I haven't harmed... I've just blown air, all right? You're just voicing your freedom of speech. My freedom of speech. Right. That's what I do, man. That's what, that's what life's all about, right? Right, Dave. Hey, and your visitor's coming to visit you. Who's my visitor? Yeah, well, you said you had a, a relative come visit you, right? No, I, I don't encourage relatives. Well, if you had a relative come visit you, uh, no, I, I, and I, you yep. wanted to go out somewhere, Dave, you know you don't go to bars. No, I don't. So we have, you know... I do go to bars. That's not true. When I go to Orlando and stuff and, and uh, uh, go visit my brother, I go 
I go uh, bar hopping. We go uh, go out looking for girls to dance with. We uh, we go to pool halls. We go all over the place. Well, Dave, you can do the same thing here in Atlanta. Well, uh, Atlanta has some good bars. Up like yeah, but see, I don't have my brother to go book. Uh, blow, go play pool and bar hopping and stuff, and that's it. And uh, so, so well. Well, Dave, you can always take your neighbor next door. <laughs> <laughs> Th thank you. See you later, later Leroy. Dave. All right, Leroy. All right, eight seven two zero seven fifty outside of Atlanta. One eight hundred WSB Talk. I'm David Poss. So I want to raise. I want to raise. I want some more money. That's what I want. I want more money. I've been here now, going on two years. Uh, I want some more money. And they said, no, Dave, sorry, man, we just can't give you a raise. So I've come in, I've decided, all right, this is what I'm worth. This is what you're paying me. So I'm going to give you what you're, I'm going to give you 50%. So tonight, that, that's my goal. I'm only giving you 50% of work, what I should be giving you. I really am. I should be coming here giving 100%, but I'm deciding, well, you're only paying for 50%, so I'm going to give you 50%. That is what I'm doing tonight. Let's go to Warner. Hey, Warner. Dave. Warner. Dave. Hey. Got a question for you. Sure. Are you looking for family entertainment or night entertainment? Uh, both. Okay. Tell you what you do. What is that? Go downtown. Right. Go to underground. Oh, spare wait, wait, me. Wait, wait, Let me finish now. Spare me. Ignore it totally. Right. But upstairs, there's a visitor center. Right. They've got a magazine they put out every month. Okay? It'll tell you everything about Callaway Gardens, um, Panicle Society, the Fox. Right. The arts, entertainment, the yeah. symphony. Oh, boy. I mean, what kind of music do you like? Jazz, big band, punk rock? Rock. Rock and roll. Okay. Um, they'll tell you about all the different concerts that are coming, all the different jazz clubs that are here, all the different hotels that offer, like um, like the Waverly that offers big band. Mm -hmm. So what do you do for excitement? Me? Yeah, you. I listen to you at night. Well, that is a thrill, isn't it? Yeah, I tell you. We sit here play Nintendo, listen to you. Nintendo? What games? You name it. Usually baseball. 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 Oh, I tell you, Nintendo's an amazing game. It, it, it says you can get so involved with it. You know, I, I got the, the Super Mario Brothers. Uh -huh. I mean, just for, <laughs> now I can walk all over it. But for a while, you know, you're just, just trying to master this thing. And it, you really get caught up in those games. Yeah. They're a lot of fun. And they're flying the jet, you know, the... Uh, the uh, Top Gun. Top Gun. Yeah, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. You know, for a long time, I couldn't land the jet. Oh, that's my kid has it. My kid has it. Why am I doing this? But it's fun. So that's yeah. what you well, do. Well, the best, the best is the strategy games. I mean, the ones that make you think. Oh yeah, I, I, that's what I love. I, you know, I used to remember, remember all they had before was ping pong and yeah. uh, that stuff. And that, but it's fun. That's fun stuff. Well, you know, the only thing is, you know, watch trying to do two at once. Listen to you and watch the game. Is every now and then you forget the game. Yeah. Or every now and then you miss something on your show. But well, thank you so much. All righty. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye. No, I like Nintendo. Let's go to Stan. Hey, Stan. Hey, man. How's it going, Dave? Pretty good. Just killing it. Hey, man, them. I moved up here from Florida. Right. Where in Florida? What? Uh, Gainesville. Right. Hey, man, that was the biggest party town, you know. I had a uh, great time there. Oh, Gainesville? Yeah. Yeah, so I thought I'd move up here to Atlanta and be a bigger party town. You know, so I got here, and, man, there's nothing to do here. Nothing. There is absolutely nothing to do here. The music scene, I'm real into music. Right. The music scene here is pitiful, man. It's like, it's either real, like, uh, new wave progressive music, or it's like Grateful Dead, kind of, you know, deadhead right. people. Or yeah. Or it's into the, like, real backwoods. Um, country scene, you know, and I'm not into any of that, man. I want to hear some good stuff here, and there's nothing happening here. It's like the Indigo Girls took off a couple years yeah. ago. And, you know, we need. You know, and, we need to do. Huh? We need to have another Woodstock. Yeah. We no. need. We need to go out and way out in Gwinnett County or someplace, find somebody's farm, right? Well, make them a deal and put together the biggest concert Atlanta's ever seen. You know what? what what's happening here in Atlanta? Mm -hmm. You know, we got a bunch of backwoods hicks living out here you know it's like we you know the civil war go back to the civil war why did we lose the war well, we lost the war because we got all these backwoods ideas you know right and and yeah, you know, well, and bring then, some and bring some kind of technology not some only kind of we, stuff down here in the south we 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 get clobbered in the war right we get yeah. our butt kicked i mean how was it half a million people died or whatever it was I mean, it was horrible, right? Horrible. Yeah. And, and then we glamorized and we put this Stone Mountain fiasco thing out there. Yeah. Isn't, that, isn't that the way it works? <laughs> and you know, Stone I, I'm embarrassed. Stone Mountain. I'm embarrassed of Stone Mountain. Stone Mountain was a beautiful place, and if they would have made that a national park, and and what they have to go up there and carve 
a bunch of losers, you know, losers. generals on the side of the mountain, you know. Why couldn't they have made that a national park and left that? Right. You know, it's like out in Washington or, or Oregon mm -hmm. or, or California or whatever. They have like Yosemite and Mount Rainier National Park and, and Crater Lake National Park and stuff. But here in Georgia, we're so messed up that we can't even take a, a valuable piece of national land and turn it into a, a, a park, man. You know, it's like, and now the Olympics are going to oh come. Oh my gosh! Right? The Olympics are going to come. So what are they going to get? What are they going to do, to Stone Mountain, when the Olympics come? Oh, They're going to tear it, that place it's up. Gonna, it's going to be trashed, trashed big time. Yeah. It really is. I really bet it will be. Right? Yeah, yeah. It, no. it will be. It'll be. Yeah, it sure will be. It'll, it'll afterward be a dump or something. Right? That, doesn't that all? Oh, doesn't all that get to you about the music scene here? And and why is there any good music? I'll tell you. There's only one band playing here in the state of Georgia, mm -hmm. here in Atlanta. It's Bruce Hampton and the Aquarium Rescue Unit. You go see that band. That band is, is probably the best band in mm -hmm. the United States of America. That band is incredible, man. Bruce Hampton used to play with Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention. Oh, man. And that band is hot, man. Hot. They're playing the 18th of Where? this month at the Cotton Club. Okay. And then and then they're going to play New Year's Eve at, at the point. Go see that band. Well, man. I, that, okay, I'll, see you later, man. That's see the you. only good band playing here uh, in the uh, state. Uh, I'll hurt you. See you later. All right, bye.